Good evening. Welcome to North West Tonight with Annabelle Tiffin. Our top story. Tributes are paid to the TV presenter Tony Morris, who has died at the age of 57. He'd presented Granada Reports for 17 years and had also worked for this programme. Also tonight, a major incident is declared in Greater Manchester as officials ramp up their response to a rising number of Covid cases. 48 marathons in two months. The running rhino racing money for Chester Zoo. And weather-wise, well, there's something for everyone over the next couple of days. Cloudier with some rain, but then temperatures rise and we'll see some sunshine. Tributes are being paid tonight to the TV presenter Tony Morris, who's died. Tony worked on this programme before switching channels to present ITV Granada reports. He was 57. He died at Berry Hospice on Saturday after being diagnosed with kidney cancer last year. Our chief reporter, Dave Guest, who was among those who worked with Tony during his time here, looks back at his life. Do you know, from today, I'm officially allowed to rub shoulders with the upper classes. Tony Morris was a true natural in front of a TV camera. Hello there, welcome to Granada Reports. Live and the TV the studio right was his natural habitat. Invincible is one of the Navy's three aircraft carriers. It's 20,000 tonnes. But he was equally at home here on the flight deck of HMS Invincible for a report on Northwest Tonight 20 years ago. Tony had served in the RAF before switching careers to become a journalist. That career switch demonstrated the determination and drive of a man who once told friends growing up as the only black kid on a tough housing estate in Portsmouth and then joining the RAF had taught him all he needed to know about resilience in life. Tony was one of the most humble, one of the kindest, funniest people that you could ever meet. Now, the Environment Agency has put a flood watch on almost every river in the northwest. From the Tony south began his broadcasting career with the BBC. Out on one of the main roads into Manchester is our man, Tony Morris. Thanks very much indeed, Gordon. He yes, became a valued member of the Northwest Tonight family. Tony Morris, Northwest Tonight, Lancaster. Then came the call from the other side. And we thought he'll be our man, and so we set about trying to poach him. Eamon O'Neill was the Granada TV executive who persuaded Tony to switch channels in 2003. So why were you so keen to persuade Tony to go and front Granada reports? We were very, very keen to have someone who was authoritative, who was experienced, who was authentic and to whom the viewers would relate. Thousands were determined to stand together against terrorism. During his time as co-anchor of Granada reports, Tony had to share in some of the region's toughest times. And when people would come in for interviews, he would always take extra time with them to put them at ease beforehand. And I just love being a part of that partnership. We had so much fun behind the scenes. He had a great sense of humour, didn't he? Well, one of the things people remember about Tony so much is his huge smile. Have a nice weekend, Trump. Tonight, sadly, the man who made his name reporting the news is himself the new story. He'd been diagnosed with kidney cancer last year. He died in Berry Hospice at the weekend with his daughters Natalie and Rebecca at his side. Tributes to Tony Morris and everyone here at Northwest tonight wants to uh, send our love and condolences to all his family and friends and everyone, of course, at Granada.